these are the statistics associated with the SNPs uh, as opposed to the actual genotypes of cells, but you can export that by <coughs> just clicking an icon based on the export table. First thing you want to know that is this really the data I want to export um, in Excel? So I cancel the number, I'm hiding a bunch of, of columns here. Okay, so I've limited to the columns that I really want to export that I'm interested in. Of course, you can delete those in Excel later, but you can just do it right here in Genome Studio. So I'm going to export this data. And call it, I'm just going to call it SNP table. And it asks me the question, do you want me, do you want to export the whole table or just the data for this one this particular SNP? So I'm, so I'm going to hit yes. Would you like to see this file? I'm going to hit yes. It's ugly now because this is like a notepad, but you pull this up in Excel and it's all nice in columns. And then you can do whatever you like with it in, in Excel. Um, so that get more into your database that um, you may have at your company. Um, whatever program you want, this is basically a flat text file that comes out with those data, with that data. One of the, so now I want to export my genotypes. I'm going to click the export, I'm sorry, I'm going to right click Sorry, I'm going to go to column chooser, which disappeared. This column chooser, and I'm going to I'm going to write down what do I want to. See. I'm going to choose which columns I want to see. Um, these are just the sample names. Obviously, I want that. The sub columns are what you want to see here. There's genotype. That's good. The score. That's the GenTrain score for that genotype. How confident I am. You may or may not want to, to do that. I'm going to hide it for now because I want a table of just the genotypes. Theta, um, the theta is actually, where does it, this is theta, this is basically where on this linear range does my sample fall. You know, this is a theta of zero, this is a theta of one over here. So everything is between zero and one on that. <clears throat> so it gives you an idea of of where on this linear axis um, your sample falls. It's really, it's directly related to percent green versus red. Um, I'm going to, for, for these purposes, I'm going to hide that. R is basically <clears throat> how confident I am. I'm going to hide that. So I'm going to look, I want my samples. I want the GenTrain score um, for each of those, for those SNPs. The address of the SNP is not that interesting. That's the address um, when you submitted the samples in your plates. Not that interesting. Or, or address on the chip, actually, on the array. Not that interesting. So I want to see right now just my samples and the genotypes. I'm going to hit OK. And that's what I see. So this is going to export. This is all I'm going to export, and I'm going to have 96 samples over here. If I exclude samples here, let's see if I can find an excluded samples. For example, here's a no call DNC, so the black dots, that needs a no call. So it'll tell you, no, I'm not calling that one. And if you exclude a whole sample, that whole area will show no call. You can actually exclude SNPs too. So you know what, this is not a good SNP. So I right click, I hit zero selected SNP. I click that, that SNP, all the data from that SNP is zeroed out. And we're gonna, you're going to have to do that because out of those 8,784, they're not all going to work. They're not going to be beautiful. And the ones that are beautiful for us may not be beautiful for your samples, and so on. So there's, so that's where there is some hands-on things, where I, I think uh, you're going to have to look into the data um, a little closer. So you you can choose to zero different SNPs and, and zero different samples uh, based on how good or bad they they look. So I'm going to export this. In this case, I'm just called full data table. And, and do you want to hit the entire table? Yes. And I'll, I'll say yes to view the table. And it is coming, I think. Let's see. Yes. I'm a little weary about this computer, but I could actually find that table on this computer. The 
full data table. I open that in Excel. And I'm going to go tab delimited, finish. And there it is. So here's my here's my sample. There's the genotype plot. There's the genotypes. And basically you can upload that to your database and, and basically include that in with your phenotype data and, and basically move forward. So there's your genotypes on that. The other thing I'm going to open since I'm here is the SNP table. You can actually append the SNP table, obviously, to the genotype table. The index, as long as it's sorted the same, I didn't sort it between. The, as long as it's sorted the same, I could append that and have these statistics beside and I could sort by that. So you know, that's what I would do. I would actually append, copy this table, put it next at the end of the genotype table and sort on these statistics. You know, I want, I'm interested in only SNPs that have an allele frequency of 60, 40 because I have a mapping population and that's what I expect. I only want SNPs um, that have at least 90 calls. So you, you know, do sorts, sorts like that and things like that for quality control. 